All right, let's go. The Kyle Perico heist. This is not the kind of content I normally make for anybody who's new to the channel. This is just something that I'm getting kind of good at. And these commentary things, I've never really done this before. I remember watching the old Modern Warfare uh, and even the Black Ops, maybe even the uh, World at War Let's Plays. And people will just kind of commentate over them. So maybe I'm going back to my old school roots here. <laughs> it's kind of fun. But anyway, so I'm going to show you how I got the Elite Challenge and I managed to do the entire heist in under 15 minutes. I think in total it was about 13. Super simple, super easy, and this is a stealth way of doing it. So all you really need to do is get the, uh, what they call the laser cutter, um, which you can do in a setup mission. All you got to do is go ahead and take a picture of one of the greats, and then that will give you the option to go and get it in the prep. I can normally get the prep done within about, I'd say, 20 to 30 minutes, which is pretty good. If you guys want a video on that, let me know, and I will show you how I do it. But yeah, once you're in here, that will take you straight into the compound, so you don't have to worry about trying to sneak in or drive and hop over or anything like that. It's super, super easy. This is weird doing the commentary thing. Normally, I just edit and <laughs> do all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a fun experience for me. So once you're through these gates, which are super annoying, and I know it looks like I'm a complete amateur, kind of am, but uh, <laughs> I think this is probably one of the longest parts of the whole mission, uh, just because I couldn't chop it all up properly, I suppose. But <laughs> all right, so you want to get in here and then make sure you've got the, I think it's the assault class with a shotgun, get some silencers on there and you are not going to have a problem whatsoever. The biggest issue really is going to be the fingerprint scanners because they're just annoying as hell and uh, getting out of the compound can be a little bit of an issue, especially when, uh, what's his name, El Rubio starts chasing you from the helicopter. Sometimes he catches me off guard, but if you're quick enough, you should be fine. One thing I don't do is actually prep the missions in terms of uh, going out and finding the cocaine, the weed, and all that kind of stuff. Just because it's a bit too time consuming. So, All right, so now we can stop rambling. Once you get up here, there's one guy. You can just give him a little headshot. Like so. Super simple. And he is down for the count. Now, if you're quick enough, you can run over here and take out the guy walking past. One little shot. You can do that with a pistol as well if it makes life a little bit easier on you. Now, uh, as you come up to this bit here, don't shoot the guy straight in the middle because uh, you occasionally get some of the high level security guards uh, and they can find the body. So if you take him out just when he's in the corner, that'll be easy. And then don't forget the camera on top just there. Run straight ahead. There's nobody really here you need to worry about. Like I said, just keep an eye on that one, uh, like the boss security guys. Can't remember what they were called, the personal security. Take out the guy at the gate. Hopefully he drops a key. If not, one of the other guys are going to. It's not that big of an issue. Come around here and there'll be a guy just behind this wall. Give him a headshot. Simple. Run up the stairs and there's a guy that's going to be walking around. You can either wait for him to come up on this ledge or you can just sneak around and take him out while he's at the top. The only thing you have to be worried about here, I think it's mostly if you play on hard mode. I've never really encountered this otherwise. But if you shoot him while the uh, the boss guys are kind of nearby, sometimes that will alert him. I think it's just more they take that as a missed shot on the boss guys. So um, yeah, one thing to look out for. Uh, check the safe, of course. Now, there is cash in there. If you do know of any coke or anything like that that's worth more money, of course, go and grab that instead. But uh, in my case, like I said, I didn't prep anything. Sometimes there's a uh, painting there as well, which is worth a bit of money. Now, this is the bit that's going to take a while, and I am not the best when it comes to rambling. <laughs> he says, having spoken solidly for about four minutes now. But these are pretty simple, to be honest. Of course, I'm doing this on uh, normal mode rather than the hard, hence the, uh, the three scans rather than the four. The one thing I do try and do is just try and get that overall shape of the fingerprint and then just compare the two images, try and figure out where it went wrong. In this case, it's I think it's the, th was that the fourth or the fifth one near the middle. Um, kind of screwed that one up, screwed that one up a little bit. God, it's weird recording commentaries, man. You can't just crop bits out. I'm trying to do this in one take. <laughs> So the first one took me a while, um, but you guys are probably a lot better at it than I am. I think there's actually um, websites that like do it for you, which would make life so much easier. But, you know, I got to do things the, the more complicated way. Uh, that one's a little bit too wide. Fix that one. Bring it down. Like I said, if you are doing this in hard mode, you will have one more to do. Uh, but of course, it's worth it if you're good at this kind of stuff. This is honestly the most annoying part for me. So there's two. And then the third one, I think this one's pretty straightforward as well. Look at about a minute and a half to two minutes tops. You want to try and get all these done by. 
while I'm doing this, if you guys want to drop a like in the video, I would really appreciate it. And let me know if you enjoy this kind of content, because like I say, it's not what I do at all. Normally I do Minecraft videos and Let's Plays. So uh, <laughs> I just wanted to share this for the community. Maybe it will give you uh, some kind of tips when you're going through and doing the Kaya Barika heist. Once you get down here, super simple. You guys probably done this a, middle, uh, a million times by now already. Pop open this little guy and then... All you gotta do is get the uh, the jewel from this uh, the safe secure. What is that? A display. <laughs> Just go and get that, or get the thing from the safe, and you are good to go. The one thing I don't know is whether you can speed this up in any way, shape, or form because this is really, really time consuming. Um, <laughs> honestly, it's it's another one of the most annoying parts about this whole heist. But come on, you're making a mill in an hour or so, so you can't really complain about it too much. But there's got to be a way to do it properly. Maybe if you apply more heat and just try and keep it level, that work a little bit better. But I know, I'm kind of an idiot when it comes to this stuff. We've been talking for nearly seven minutes straight. I think it's the longest conversation I've had with a human being in a long time. The awkward part is it's not even a human being. It's me recording a video that's going to go out to random people that will think it's weird because this video is not edited. But, you know, that's just the way life goes sometimes. All right, this whole silence thing is doing my... See, see what I mean? It's so long. There is no need for it to be this long. Just just pop it open. My God. I'm still waiting for the panther. It's going to come. Oh my God. I'm just going to crop this whole bit out in a second. All right. Any, any minute now. Any. If somebody knows a way of speeding this up, please leave it in the comments because I can't deal with this, man. Ah, ah. All right. There we go. So. That is popped open, and now we can escape. There are ways of opening that safe. Uh, the little door that normally requires two people right next to the vault. Um, I wouldn't encourage doing it though, um, because you can do it solo. There's like a little glitch workaround kind of vibe, but I wouldn't encourage it because it's one of those things that Rockstar will be able to catch you out on, I think at some point in the future. And honestly, it's just not worth the risk when there's a bunch of stuff on your way out. So hopefully you got a gate key. Um, take out this guy right here, a little headshot. Now keep an eye on the guy that is roaming around in front of him. In my case, he's just about to walk past. There's no way he's gonna be able to see the body, which is cool, uh, but just be careful when you do take him out that um, you know they're not in each other's eyesight because that would be kind of awkward. I don't understand why you have to go through this animation every single time though. It's a bit weird, you know what I mean? Just gotta... Every single time you do the heist, you forget that the door opens with a button. <laughs> uh, GTA logic. All right, so uh, this is going to be a little bit of a tricky bit. Um, the first couple of kills are pretty simple. First one, you just got a little pistol, headshot, whatever you want to do. You can get closer if you want to, but for me, I prefer just doing it further away. Uh, you got one guy over here who's going to be facing you. Try and take him out from a distance or creep up behind him. Then run up to the tree just over his corpse. And you will be able to take out these guys in a headshot. Just pop one. Wait a second for the other guy's head to pop up. Bam. Super easy. Uh, there's a camera over here to your left-hand side. Quickly take that one out. Easy. All right. Now, as soon as you jump on the bike and start driving, the helicopter is going to start chasing you. And also, there's a guy that occasionally comes up on the left-hand side of that road. So you just want to go straight up and over. Uh, not too far. That I, for me, personally, I think I went a little bit too far to the right. But if you just keep going straight, it will take you straight to the main dock, which you'll be able to get a boat out of. And also, there's a bunch of coke stashes, weed, money, all that kind of stuff. So, God, that was terrible driving. <laughs> so, drive through here. Um, it is kind of annoying, but I think there's easy ways of doing it. I just wasn't really paying too much attention at this point in time. See, you can probably shave like another minute of this um, off if you... A, figured out how to crack that fucking safe thing a lot quicker, and also, you just kind of did your own thing. So, jump down here. I normally start on the left-hand side and work my way over to the right, uh, just because there are there's a safe right in front of where I'm heading now. You'll be able to see there's a camera above this guy as well, and I actually did it in the wrong order. You're meant to take the guy out first and then the camera, uh, but I was an idiot and I alerted him. So pop that and then quickly, in my case, take him out before any alarms go off and mind that helicopter that's going over <laughs> just uh, around the corner. 
Now, in my experience, there aren't any people that normally come by uh, in terms of cars, driving, or anything like that, so you should be okay. But just try not to leave bodies out in the open or anything like that, because that would be a massive pain in the backside. You'll notice that I get a bit more money than usual for the cash. Uh, that's because I recorded this video on 420, then when there was a, it was double money for the Cayo Perico weed. Um, so I think in total I walk away with like nearly 1.8 or 1.7 mil. Can't complain for like an hour's work. And I think I spent all that money on the APC. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, once you've gone through all this, like I say, you're more than welcome to go and find out which ones you want to go to. There are, I think there's two or three stashes in this little location here, uh, which is more than enough to get a full bag and complete the Elite Challenge. Now, I normally run up here, take out the guy on the right-hand side, because he'll be able to see you as soon as you jump in the boat, which is a pain in the ass. A little headshot isn't going to alert anybody, you're all cool. And then I like to run up here and take out this guy, because, again, he'll be able to see you. And he's already facing away. I don't think he turns around. So again, it's just one headshot. Super, super easy. Um, now, this is where it gets a tiny bit tricky because the, the timing on these next two guys is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, I think, uh, do I take him out now? Hmm. I recorded this video a couple of weeks ago. But either way, there's three more guys, really, that you have to take out. Uh, one of them is protecting this little stash over here, which I go to to wrap it up. A little headshot again a little bit close to the main road for my liking i would have taken him out a little bit further away but i was trying to get the time challenge um and there's a guy over there to your left as well you can just pop him if you are a bit concerned about him walking over or catching you so it's just that field of vision that's the biggest issue run up over there and there's also another guy on your left but you don't really have to take him out it should be fine um okay so open the gate and then bada bing bada bong you can grab some more monies I think this this whole heist is honestly one of the best things uh, Rockstar has added to GTA 5 since <laughs> since they released it, and I'm so grateful that they're constantly adding amazing content. It's um it's really great to see, and I can't tell you even even if I disappear from GTA Online for a couple of weeks, I always find myself coming back to it, which is kind of kind of nice. It's one of those games you develop a consistent relationship with. I think I've owned GTA 5 on PS5, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and now uh, PS4, PS5. So take out that guy. Uh, there is a little safe security thingy, another little stash behind him, but I think that's a two-player one. This is the trickiest bit, to be honest with you. This is what normally screws me over. But one little headshot way for him to pop up, and if you get the timing right, that's it. You're done. Jump in a boat, sail away, and Bob's your uncle. Um, <laughs> it's really that simple, and I think I complete the the elite challenge, maxed out bag, 1.9 uh, 1.9 mil, uh, 100k of that goes to the uh, submarine guy. Can't remember his name, but can't complain whatsoever. 1.8 mil for an hour's work. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you want more commentaries like this, if you want to see a full walkthrough of the heist, including the prep show you the quickest way of doing things, let me know, I'll be more than happy to make it. And if you just want me to make more commentaries like this, I'm happy to make that as well. It's super easy for me to do, which is half the reason why I'm doing it today. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's a fun little adventure for me. So, I love your faces. Thank you so much for watching today's video. You are amazing, you're beautiful. Enjoy the last couple of seconds of the video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.